Hi, and welcome to another episode of Three Foot Good. I'm Darren. I'm Tyler. And I'm Rich. We're all here. We're all here. And tonight, guess what? Guess what? We're a little excited because we're clone players. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll let and, you... uh, and, and we got a, a spoiler. Cody's command cards got spoiled in their final. He was actually used in a battle report, I guess, of uh, him versus Ventress. I haven't been able to see it yet. No, but, no. Um, yeah. hey, the, the cards are got plastered everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah. so we, if you haven't seen them... I will maybe be showing them now because I'll send them to Rich and you might be able to interpose them okay. as we right. talk about them. Yeah, I will yeah. All right, so we to can do that stuff if we actually follow through and get right because I don't know. Well, a lot of times it's our fault, man. Right? <laughs> you just gonna send me that? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. I forgot, yeah. Rich. So it's, it's already posted the video. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Next yeah, time. It's our fault. It's our fault. Right. Yeah. We're not the tech guru wizards. So all right. So Clone Commander Cody. He is coming out in April, uh, end of towards the end of April. So he's gonna miss the worlds by a month. Which makes me sad because me too. Me too. then it would have been Rise me of the too. Republic, and now it'll just be yeah, me too. I I I got a list. You got a list that yeah. it will slot perfectly. In. Yeah. Anyways, so to recap, what Clone Commander Cody is? He is five health, two courage, surge crit, red defense dice. Uh, has a speed two move. He has the awesome advanced combat training that like Rex has, which is two red melee, and he's got his own DC fifteen A blaster rifle, which is range one to four, two red, one black, one white. With lethal one and impact one. So that's pretty cool. It's very cool. Uh, he then has a slew of keywords on his text. None of slew. which. Yes. None of which have the actual text, the, the reminder text, because there's too many. Yeah. Uh, he gets free action observed to. And we'll get back to that one. I he has screwed that up with him. I didn't never get it. I never right? thought about it. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. He has jump one. So he's got a built-in jump one, not a Mando jump, but yeah. still, I mean, decent. Yeah. He has take cover one as an action, which you only used I, once. Uh, I tr okay, so I tried with Cody. I, I've used him a few times, proxied him a few times. I and, used him a couple times. Yeah, he's awesome. He is fun. Um, and I tried, I put portable scanners on him because with take cover one, then it's take cover yeah, two. Yeah, take cover two, why not? But you've got, with his his actions, there's so many other things that you're trying to do with him. Yeah. Um, using him defensively it didn't really work for me. Maybe you can make it work. Maybe, or you'll remember it because half the time I'd ask Darren, Darren, have you used it? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah well, because oh. you're you're always trying to do other things. Because maybe. you search crit range four, you want to shoot with them. You don't want to be taking yeah. other actions. And and maybe if, uh, maybe it depended on my build because I had to have him do so much stuff. Maybe with a different build, right? Maybe uh, work with them. then I could get him to work that way. But I took it because it seems like it's a great idea, but I never got it to work. So uh, he also then has target one. Which is the when you get issued an order, you get an aim token, which is awesome because he likes aims because you're probably going to be fire supporting with him. And then he has the best keyword, direct vehicle. <laughs> it so, is fun. It is yes, fun. Yes. So, uh, so the, the, the time of the Gar armor is, <sighs> is nigh upon us. Yeah, so uh, as some of you, if you're watching this, uh, I am messing with uh, ISPs. I am going to... Uh, yeah, Beam Me Up Obi is going to be at Adepticon 2023. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've yeah, talked about it in yeah, a prior yeah, video. Yeah, so I am bringing it. I was using Cody with the ISPs, and the cool part with Direct, um, when you're using, like, uh, air support. Air support. Well, not air support. The push. one pip. Synchronized offensive. Synchronized, yeah, offensive. So with this, I've got HQ up link and uh, linked. Um, but with... Cody and using that you don't need HQ. You don't need HQ. Like you, you can go linked on link both. Link you got linked on both. Yeah, and so then which you're which is really you're, important when you have big dice pools of uh, surge crit fire supporting, fire supporting in so. have an extra aim or you know running two aims off of that. So it, that one turn can be really really cool. So and yeah. I mean on your one pip you're giving out at least four orders because you're issuing an order to one vehicle which coordinates to a clone trooper. Right. 
You can direct to another, which then coordinates to a clone trooper. Mm -hmm. And depending what you have else in the army, if you take, say, a clone commander and you have fives, then you're directing the fives, yeah, so who's then going to bounce to another one. Right. So, so you yeah, you can six. you can get six orders out. So it's a it's a pretty nice. And if you're running triple ATRTs and one of the ATRTs has an HQ uplink that then pops, then that coordinates to another yeah, clone yeah. trooper. So that's, there's some really really cool. stuff. I wouldn't know anything about running triple ATRTs yeah. though yeah. at all. I tried it in the tournament here not too long. Ago. Yeah. yeah yeah it's fun right. so yeah okay so what are you guys are here for command cards probably maybe i don't know how to keep those yeah all right so one of this coolest command cards is his three pip combined arms and just like rex's three pip which is we're not programmed it gives out four orders unlike clone commander rex he does not or clone captain rex i'm sorry he does not have to issue it to four clone troopers his is just two troopers and two vehicles so that's pretty cool because he's not limited if you've got Wookiees, if you've got Kenobi in the list, if you've got, no, those are the only troopers, aren't they? Besides, uh, if you got R2, he's just a regular trooper, so you could give it to R2. The text on it, which hopefully maybe the card will be up there, but I'll quickly read through it. During his activation, Clone Commander Cody may perform his free actions up to two times. So that would mean you get to perform your observe two twice, which means you could put four on one unit. Or two on one unit, two on another. When a friendly vehicle unit declares an attack against an enemy unit that has an observation token, they may spend the token. If they do, after the attack, a friendly clone trooper unit at range one of the vehicle may perform a speed one move. So you don't get to use it as the reroll. You're using it to where, hey, my DP-23 squad needs to get closer. I'm going to give them a free move after I shoot this vehicle because... I don't need to re-roll because I'm rolling enough dice or I'm using a flamethrower and I'm they're not going to have cover and I'm surge hit anyways. So that's just kind of cool. It allows you to move hostages, allows you to get closer to evaporators, intercept the transmissions, all that fun stuff. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, there is no... Um, again, you don't get the, the cool benefit of the actual using the observation token. So you don't get to re-roll the one die. But you're going to have four of these out there, so it may not matter. I mean, you might not need it. Uh, then we go to the one that's the most controversial. Uh, the Republic community as a whole seems to love the one and the three pip. And the two pip, nah, they're lukewarm on. I like it. I think it's got some interesting possible niche things you can do with it, uh, depending on how AMG answers the questions that will be asked once the cards are released and they will actually answer questions. This one is, have I ever let you down? And that's kind of a loaded question because, well, Order 66 happened. So maybe there was one time. Uh, so this <laughs> issues an order to Clone Commander Cody and one trooper. Again, it's not a... Small problem. Right. Not a, not a clone trooper. It's just any trooper. So you could give it to Obi-Wan. And it is a really cool uh, art on the card of Cody and Kenobi. When a unit is issued an order by this card is at range one of Clone Commander Cody and suffers wounds from an enemy attack after the attack is resolved, if Clone Commander Cody is at range four of and has line of sight to the enemy unit, he may perform an attack against that unit. So that's kind of cool because Cody's got the two red, one black, one white surge crit out to range four. And now you don't necessarily want Kenobi to be getting wounds. So that, again, may not be the best use of him. Yeah. And depending on how they rule Guardian, but if Guardian and Bounty interaction is going to be the same like this, then if I Guardian a shot from somebody, I am considered to have been, I have, and suffer a wound from it, I have suffered a wound from the unit that did the original shooting. So if I get, I believe it's Boyle or Waxer, who comes with Commander Guardian. Cody, yeah, yeah, yeah. gives him Guardian, Guardian 1. So if I Guardian that one and I fail my save, oh, I lose a regular clone trooper, but now Cody's throwing a four dice surge crit shot. And oh, you just shot a different unit and I'm going to Guardian again. And oh, I lost another one. I'm going to throw another four dice shot at something else. It's maybe not the best use of it, but I think it's got some play. It's not horrible, but I definitely don't know if you want that on Kenobi because you don't want Kenobi to take wounds. But then again, it could also be used as a deterrent to where I don't want you to shoot Kenobi, so I'm going to put the wound on him. So that way, then if you do shoot him, I suffer a wound. Rex or Cody is shooting you as well now. So yeah, it's it. it I don't know. It, we'll see. I don't know if that would replace like air support in a double commander list. But I definitely, if you're only running Cody, I don't see why you wouldn't take it. 
And then we have the bring it down with an exclamation point. So it's his one pip. Issues just an order to Clone Commander Cody. During his activation, Clone Commander Cody may perform his free actions up to two times. Again, pretty cool. When a friendly unit declares an attack against an enemy unit, so this is just friendly unit, doesn't have to be a vehicle, that has an observation token, you may spend the token. If you do, the attack gains suppressive if it's an enemy unit, if the enemy unit is a trooper, and impact one if the enemy unit is a vehicle. So this can kind of help you hedge against armor, which may be showing up more now, because, hey, I can do this four times on that vehicle, so now it's got at least impact four coming in on it. Unfortunately, it's not going to help with the dark troopers, right. because so dark troopers, troopers are troopers, not, so they will then gain yeah. suppressive in their dash courage, so that doesn't help them there. I still just think that if you're fighting dark troopers, you don't put the observation tokens on the dark troopers, or you use well, at least the observation. Right. For the one pip turn, anyway. For, for yeah. the one pip turn, or you do it on one of your observe two, put two on them that you're going to use to reroll dice, and the other two can go on, hey, that unit I need to suppress. Mm -hmm. And you only have to spend one, so that means you can double suppressive hit any unit or quadruple suppressive hit so if this is say like the last turn and cody's about ready to die so you do your one pip and you get to go first with cody and you put out those observation tokens they don't go away when if he gets defeated and now you can just put eight suppression on a unit which then that unit's no longer scoring so if it's a hostage turn and that unit has the hostage but now it's got six or four suppression on it it could be panicked, and now it's not scoring, and if you're scoring with your hostage, you win. Yeah, yeah there, there are... Or intercept the transmissions, or a key position to where, hey, I kept this one unit back here because it's going to be fine. It's out of range, but nobody can get it. Well, if you can just plink in shots and just, hey, I, I'm just throwing dice to get hits or surges mm -hmm. or crits mm -hmm. and not looking to do wounds. I'm just looking to do suppression. I mean, it's... It's... It's, it's usable. Nice. It's usable. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Again, in a double... Like, if I take... Cody Kenobi, I don't know if I get rid of synchronized defensive for this one. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping hello there because it's right. Kenobi. It's hello there. Yeah. Right. And if it's Anakin, I'm keeping Anakin's one pip sure. because you need those cards to power up Anakin. And if it's Yoda, yeah, I'm keeping Yoda's one pip because it's Yoda. But, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. again, what, it's, oh, I can't, I can't what, wait. What we need, one. what we need is we need Bryce to get direct clone trooper. Yeah, core clone trooper. I yeah, might core, just do yeah, core, give, core give, clone trooper. Give Rex. And then we can run Rex. We can run the boys. Yeah, I have yeah. a I have a Cody Rex list that I will run regardless of if it's like because it, it's all oh, this is just clones. It's just clones, and I'm actually creating a list that actually will have all the named clones in it. I'm gonna I've, I've got a list that got that I'm working on. I'm trying to finalize it. It's got so Cody fives, Rex echoes, fives echoes yeah, waxer Rex and boil. boil. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm just like, all right, we, we don't need no stinking Jedi. And that might be what the name of the list will be if I ever take it to a tournament. I don't know. And, yeah. Or, yeah. or you know, we're not programmed. Or I'll, I'll come up with something cool, maybe. Probably not. But. Chip but, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, Rex and the Walking Carpets is coming to Adepticon. Right. So that's that's my list, which we've talked about in the past. Um, but yeah, I again, I'm super bummed that he's not out before Adepticon. In fact, I wish he was coming out next week instead of Ventress because I would, I would, I would play him. Yeah, oh, yeah. I would take yeah, him. Yeah, he'd be, I would take he'd him. be on my list. Yeah. And there would be a ton of Gar players, and Gar might outnumber Empire in the last chance qualifier. Then mm. probably not. As of right now, there are there's only a handful of people that have submitted lists to the last chance qualifier. Uh, there are 13 Empire, five Republic, three Rebels, three Separatists, and one Shadow Collector. So it looks like if that stays true through the rest of when everybody submits their lists. There will be a very strong Empire faction whole list bunch. again. Yeah, right? Whole bunch. Playing either yeah. Dark Troopers Pretty or Pretty good chance Force. you're going to play. Right. Or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they all team kill each other round one because they all get paired up against each other. So then half of them are out. And, you know, we're fine. And we go through and we kill each other in the last round. I mean, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you know that's going to happen. We'll it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be round one we get paired. Right. We'll, we'll get paired. We'll get paired. It's mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, so I'm I'm really looking forward to Cody. Uh, I was playing Cody again without his command cards. So was I. So and was I. thought he was really good. And yeah. now these just amp, amp that up. I don't have to take Ambush now. I can take his one pip. I don't have to take Push. So, yeah, uh, I've got a couple of lists. And as soon as he drops, it's he's I'll put them together on right. the table. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, i got to get a third ATRT assembled. I have to get a third Republic ATRT assembled. Yeah. 
No, not, mine are yeah, painted yeah, ready to go. Yeah, painted ready to go. Mine are, yeah. two of mine are painted. Yeah. I'm not ready to go. But Maybe I'll painted. paint the second saber tank. I mean, Cody, two sabers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a, a there was an eight activation list at the, uh, at Rocky Top that was Cody, R2, two sabers. Cody? Or, uh, Rex. Rex, sorry. Rex, yeah. R2. Yeah. Rex, R2, two sabers with the clone pilot, um, all the fixings on yeah. on it, and then uh, four clone troopers, two of them with recon intel. Yeah, oh, right. Okay. And then two of them without because Rex had scouting party, yeah. and it was horrible because like they did hostage, like he had key positions. And it was just he would use the saber tanks as blind side blockers. Sure. Once he if he the stabcast talked about it, yeah. and stabcast will had to play against it, and he almost got it. He the the last clone trooper had one model left, had the hostage. And then was able to move behind the tanks, and then the tanks just kept strafing to block line of sight, so he couldn't. He'd double move his pikes to maybe get a shot next turn, and then the pikes would start losing models because they double moved, and the tanks are just blasting them. Yeah. So it's it's it can be done, and since Rex is more expensive than Cody, right? Or they're the same. I mean, you yeah, it's a swap, and now you're directing, and now yeah. it's just yeah. it's yeah 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 cool. Either but that Rex either needs to go back to his old points. Or, or he needs he needs something else. He needs to get the jump pack put into him so it's not an equipment upgrade. Give him jump one like Cody, or give him direct core clone trooper. I'd be happy with direct core. Right. I, I would even pay like more points. I'd pay an extra five to ten points to have direct core on Rex. Yeah. I would be fine with that. That's fine. Because I mean, Scary Party is still. I mean, I, I, I again, Rex in the walking carpets. I've been using Rex. Rex's scouting party is still great and amazing. But he just, I mean, I could take this and then drop all my Wookiees for ATRTs and then have some extra points to add in some more squads. And I, dude, yeah. I know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm yeah. Forward to it. I, yeah. So, speaking yeah. of Adepticon, we're going to Adepticon. We're going to Adepticon. And you should too. Well, yeah, but they don't already have tickets. Well, they can go walk around yeah. and watch. It is. And it, it is, unless it's, things have changed, it's still it's, free to it's get free. in. Yeah, because I just read. You just can't. Participate in the events. Right, you have to have a badge to participate in events. Um, but and it is free buys things, or is the vendor? No, hall open I think the I think the vendor halls okay. open to everybody. But regardless, even if you just walk around and look at all the how different many, games, how many vendors do you think are going to look for a badge well, and you get cash? cash. No. No. <laughs> you if you have a card, they don't care. They're like, yeah. oh, you want to buy something? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought he had a badge. I thought I saw a badge on him. Yeah. 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 But no, it's hey, it and is. thanks for watching for this long. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, no, so, I mean, Adepticon, I'm psyched. Uh, I'm going up Wednesday afternoon, evening, to get my badge because I'm in the last chance qualifier, which is Thursday morning, and I don't want to try and be getting my badge Same. before Same. the thing. Yeah, so, yeah. I yeah. believe the it opens at 7, and it'll be open until 11 on Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah. They said they will open getting your badges sooner if they get done setting up yes, sooner. They get done sooner. Yep. But, so just plan on that, and even if it takes me three hours the waiting in line to get my badge i'm doing it wednesday night oh yeah absolutely because absolutely. i'm not dealing yeah. with that thursday morning yeah when i'm trying to get ready for the games no it, it that's it's so much nicer to do it that way it's like stress off of you you don't have to get there so early you can you can kind of hang and, and, and if, even though it's march it's never warm oh god no it's, oh, it's gonna be cold be prepared for cold yeah because you'll probably be outside well Okay. Oh. Well, the weather next week doesn't look awful, but it's still going to be cold. It's, it's going to be windy. windy. Yeah. It's, it's Chicago. Well, well, hell, it's we had a freaking yeah. ice storm last night here, kind of sort yeah, of. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. But no, so, and if you're watching this and you're playing in the Last Chance Qualifier or the Worlds, make sure you get your list submitted because those are due, coming up due in 21st. a couple days. Yeah, the 21st by, yeah. So the sooner the better because help the TOs out. Right. I still have to submit. I played last night. You know, you got that like, uh, and then I got my ass kicked. So yeah, it didn't go well. So now you're like, ah, oh, do I want to do me up OB uh, or do so I want to? But do, I said uh, I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna. No one you op Luke can change everything and pick rebels now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I haven't played that in so long. Oh, right, that's because rebels. this gets republic, man. Yeah, I haven't played that in so long. Yeah. So, but you know, it's I'm I'm looking forward to it. They've got a ton of other things. So if you're not into Legion, I don't know why you're really. I mean, you might be watching this for the historical stuff that we. Have done from time Once, to time. Once, twice. Yeah. 
twice, couple three times. times. Yeah. We did the learning thing, trying to teach yeah, Rich yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah. And again, we will get back to playing other games. We were just really focused on LVO and, and, LVO and, and then this. Adepticon. And then, and then so after Adepticon, actually, because we've kind of talked about it, after Adepticon, we're going to like branch off and do some other stuff. I mean, you'll still see Legion. Yep, stuff. Legion will still be there. We're going to do especially more of special when, operations. Yep, especially when something new COVID drops. Operations. We'll, we'll absolutely. Uh, I mean, like when Cody drops. Yeah. You're going to probably see a couple. We'll, you'll see at least one Cody on Cody yeah. brawl. So, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, so but, but yeah, yeah so got, at Adepticon there's coming. all kinds of stuff going on at Adepticon. Um, if you, every game, every game, even games that you think are dead and done, they probably have a tournament there. There's there, yeah. It's yeah. it is it is a war gaming mecca. Uh, just go it, yeah. from the historicals. I mean, just about any historical area. fantasy, sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Somebody, whatever, somebody ancients. There. And they've got uh, open gaming areas, so when we get knocked out early in the last chance qualifier, and we have a little time, we can actually because I I am gonna take I am gonna take a mat and, and a table. So, nice. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah, Love it. Yeah. So we'll be able. Love to, it. I think I'm gonna pull. I think I'm gonna take some free blade stuff. I think I'm gonna take some free blade stuff yep. too. Yep. Um. Yeah. Just in case. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. More probably. I won't be playing in that tournament. So, my kids want to do. Battletech, that's what they want to do. Oh, so. well, that's that's cool. But you see, and that's a two day tournament though, and we've got Yep. We've got doubles on Sunday. We have doubles on Sundays. So the, we're gonna do I need a hero. doubles. Yeah, I need a I hero. I need a hero. That there. is the list name. Yeah. That is so, the only spoiler we're gonna give because I mean we're gonna we're gonna win. I mean we're going to, oh no, we're not we're going to have fun. <laughs> we, we are going to do one we want to do there's, the thing there's once one thing that we want to try and do. That we want to try and get in, in our couple of games. There's yep. like one thing that they synchronize up if we yep. can get it synced one time and we'll be really it'll be like yes we won right even yes even though we yeah. lost because yeah. we yes so yeah. you know again the the last year when we went we played um brendan and his wife yeah oh yeah and yeah. That, that was our second game so we were both one and oh there yeah. i mean that was a i would say that was a competitive game but yeah we will be there uh definitely look for us uh, stop say hi yeah yes yeah, i mean say hey darren got recognized last year at adepticon in, did. Yeah, our number one fan. Our number one fan yeah. recognized him. Was like, yeah. oh, and Brian. He he uh, he texted me this as I was driving up with my family, <laughs> and we were stopping at a outlet mall, and I had to stop because I got a text message, and then I had to reply because I thought that was just so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was okay. so cool. Yeah. Uh huh. I know. So, what I know. you actually watch? People watch this shit. They're yeah, like, they're crazy. I know. I know. Yeah. So uh, show up at Adepticon. Like, Read the table, yeah. maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, when I got up there, it was before Darren's last game, and you were two and one, and you needed to win the last game to go on to day two, because all the three and ones went on. It was he was setting up. I saw him. I went out. I said, "Good luck, Darren. You got this." I walked away. I think he didn't see me the rest of the night. Yeah. I then just stalked him on on TTO, <laughs> which is now Game Upland. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, that's how you can stalk us. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm I'm on there with. Tyler and then three foot good. I don't think Darren has three Be foot good. Be careful what you wish for. Asking the internet to stalk you. <laughs> Dude, bring it. I don't, hey, I don't care. I'm telling you right now, like I've told everybody, having a stalker gal chase you around is really flattering for the first couple of weeks. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It is. It's a lot of fun. Have you seen this? They are not going to be chasing you. <laughs> but, but when you wake up one morning, your testicles are super glued to your leg. It's time to get rid of them. Yeah. Always, always <laughs> keep bringing your polish remover next to your nightstand. Just a and on uncle. that note, that's just a little tip from your old uncle Larry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I got nothing that can be that. So. <laughs> I think it's I think it's time to get out there and roll some dice. <laughs> Stop watching us. Go roll some dice. Mm -hmm.